Right then, Chinese diesel eaters. Uh, we fitted one in the workshop, ooh, I don't know, about a month ago, something like that. And ever since we've had it running, uh, we've made a few alterations to it, but ever since we've had it running, we've had an E9 error code. Uh, and we've got to the bottom of it, and apparently it's the um, temperature sensor. Got one here, came this morning. So, I'm going to uh, take you over to the heater, let's have a look at it, take you over and uh, we'll strip it down and uh, see that we can get the E9 error code cleared. So, uh, just get myself a screwdriver. So, if you remember, we fitted the Exhaustor Later 3000. There is a video in the link if you want to check it out, how we made that. And there's also a video of installing it temporarily. Um... And there's also a video of it where we put the exhaust outside through the wall. Uh, right, for safety reasons, I've disconnected the battery. And uh, we're going to go inside. Apologies for the lighting, it's not very good. Because uh, it's uh, it's now gone dark outside. So, yeah, apparently you've got to undo that little clip there with a the screwdriver. Like that. That comes out. The... Um, the connector is, I believe, on the back of the motherboard about there. So you can just get your hand down and it's just a little square connector. And you can pull that off. Right then, uh, so we've undone the little clip there. And we now need, just there, end of the screwdriver, I don't know if you can see it or not. There's a little uh, Allen key. So, undo that, take that out. And it should reveal the motherboard with the little clip on underneath to uh, get that out, okay? Right, so we've got that out. Uh, there's a little clip there. You pinch it together with uh, your thumb and forefinger and you can reveal the motherboard, okay? And it's this one here we're after with the square connector on. So all you need to do, it's a bit difficult with one hand, is get that and that comes off the motherboard like so the little ceramic temperature sensor comes out there and the problem with this one is one of the wires has come out the end if you can see that or not so uh, that's uh, no good so let's go next door and we'll open the packet of the new one that's arrived and see whether it's the same. Well, I've got it out of the envelope. That's uh, what it looks like in the bag. Looks similar. Whether the plug is the same on the end, this plug looks a little bit bigger. But uh, hopefully it should fit on the motherboard. So we'll go and try that. Right, and the problem uh, with buying these replacement parts off uh, Evil Bay is sometimes they're a little bit different and yes it fits on and no it doesn't if that makes any sense no it doesn't fit um not sure if there's a polarity on this because it'll go on one way and the clip doesn't fit in and if you turn it round does it alter the polarity i don't know so, I've got two options. Don't think there's a polarity because it's a sensor. There's no coding on the wires. So, I've got two options here. I've got to get the connectors out of the end of that plug, which is way too big for that fitting, and swap it with the old one. Or, uh, don't know. Not a clue that won't fit in there and that won't fit that way obviously by turning it 180 degrees I'm altering the polarity if there is one but I don't think there is so I'm going to investigate this is the new sensor with the red clip and that's the old one as you can see they are definitely different However, they're just two wires, the pins are the same, they're just, that just will not fit on the motherboard. I've tried with a little tool to try and get the thingies out of the middle, but uh, 
no success the only thing that came of that was uh, bad language so um, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut the wires because I don't think uh, that's that ends got the uh, heat sense heat shrink on for the heat temp and uh, this ends just normal so I'm gonna cut it about a quarter of an inch from the end and I'm gonna solder it up and uh, and insulate it I think that's the only way so uh, I'm gonna crack on with that I've got the uh, connector that I do need in the vise. I've uh, bared the ends off. I'm just going to tin that up and I'm going to stick that one on there and then the other one on the other side. So we'll get it tinned up and we'll get it soldered together. Some insulation on. I think we'll be good to go with that. That's soldered up. Bit of solder on there, bit of solder on there and we've got some heat shrink. It's a little bit big for the job but uh, it's all we've got. So, and we've used uh, red on both sides just to uh, confuse the next man. So I'm going to find my uh, blow lamp and we'll try and melt that up. Okay. Right, the uh, heat shrink didn't shrink small enough. So uh, I'm going to cut that off. I'm just going to put some insulation tape around it because it's not high voltage. So uh, should be okay with that. Not going very well this job, is it? Got some insulation tape around it. I should have probably just done that in the first place, but it's not very pretty. But uh, hey ho, so soldering iron switched off. That's back out. Let's go and see if it will fit in the heater okay so we've got that on the motherboard it does fit in now correctly just going to route these cables uh, but I need two hands so I'm just going to put the camera down get that in and I'll be back with you Here we go, that's all in there. Clips back in, sensors in, cables are routed. Um, that's around there. Nothing obstructing the fan, that's still turning. Uh, I've seen a few on YouTube land where the same error code has been because the plastic casing has been binding on the fan and slowing it down. So I'm going to leave that off for a moment just while I power it up and test it. So all that's back in, we think that's good to go. Um, motherboard's back in, tighten that up, plastic clips back in, metal clips back in. So I'm going to reconnect the battery and see if that can clear the error code on the screen. Okay, so what I've done is I've got it at 20 degrees. It's running lovely. Um, the error code E9 has disappeared, but for how long is anybody's guess? Um, for some unknown reason, it ain't letting me put the uh, code in. The numbers aren't locking in, so I've got to investigate that because I can't turn the pump down. Um, so I'm going to have a little read up about that. But this is absolutely red hot coming out of there at 20 degrees. Uh, the CO2 meter is uh, still CO2 metering. The uh, lesser spotted oozel and bird and that's the air intake out of the main room which is recirculating back in i'll take you around here um so that's fresh air in uh, sorry that's uh, room air in through the pipe through the exhaust later 3000 back up the air intake around there and into the machine and then that blows it back through the wall into there exhaust down through the exhaust later 3000 that's a sealed chamber in there so no gases can escape into the heat that's going back into the room um, like I say it's a sealed tube so all that's doing is picking up the warm air that's circulating as it pulls the cold air in over the warm it superheats it and blows it back through and then the pipe the exhaust pipe goes out through the wall and, and that is about it so uh, I'm not holding my breath, but uh, 
we'll see how long this lasts I'm going to run it at 20 degrees and slowly creep the temperature up um, and see how we get on with that because last time I did that it just shut down I don't know what's going off so there we have it that's it I've cleared the E9 error code um, the CO2 meter still alive the great Uzalem bird uh, it's blowing warm air in it everything's working for how long nobody knows I'm not an expert at this, um, I've made a couple of videos how we installed it we, with, with no instructions because there wasn't any, uh, it was a second hand unit, some of the pieces were missing, so really it's all been trial and error, you can take my advice if you want, if you don't want to then don't, uh, I'm not an expert, I'm just doing what other people have told me to do on the comments out there in YouTube land, so uh, watched a couple of interesting videos about the E9 error code and they've diagnosed it as the temp sensor and up to now that's what it seems to be so I had to wait over Christmas while one got sent and uh, it came this morning so we put it in so I thought I'd make a short video just to show you how it went on with it so thanks for watching if it's been helpful to you maybe click like and subscribe it's entirely up to you and uh, I'm gonna keep monitoring this and I'll let you know how we get on with it over the next few days Okay, so see you soon. Thank you.